Good day, everyone, and welcome back to the Ralphies. My wife is here. Hey. And she is making some. A special recipe. Oh. Which we're going to. Um, Concoct. Yeah, we have it concocted. Yeah. And we're having it again today because we like it so much. And we're going to share it with you guys next week on Rise, Wine, and Dine. Look at my beautiful hair, people. Mm -hmm. I always have a hair in a ponytail. So sexy. Yeah, so that's what we're at today is what I'm at today. What are you at today? Oh, I am going to show you guys. Not sure if you guys know or not. How to DC a pomegranate. Yeah. Without having juice squirting up the wall. Yeah, don't give away the secret yet. But you guys are really, really, really going to want to see this because this is a real cool trick with deseeding a pomegranate. Mm -hmm. And it contains no juice and no mess. Mm -hmm. And Very simple. You guys are going to get... Very easy. You guys are lucky Very enough to see it here at the mm -hmm. So we're going to do that today too. Yeah. What are you guys doing today? What's the weather like with your, where you're at today? Is uh, it snowing? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is leaves blowing? Hang on to your trousers and pull up your pants. Trousers. Catch you guys soon. So, I am getting something to eat for my wife and I. Some dessert. It's so delicious. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's over on Rise, Wine and Dine. Just off this channel, you will see. Or down below this channel, you will see. In the description. In the description box below this video, you will see Rise Mother Dine. Just click there and you will see this recipe. My son, if you haven't tried that, they're called what? What are they called? Mini key lime pies. Mini key lime pies. Yeah. It's so delicious, so sweet, so. Ugh. So we got two saucers, right? You pop these two down like that. Are you really supposed to serve food on saucers though? This is the newfie way of doing things, okay, you guys? If you, if most of you guys on the mainland look at it and go, a saucer is for a cup and saucer. Well, where we come from, you are allowed to use a saucer for dessert if you choose to do so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, tip. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. <laughs> so now I'm going to take out two little do flickies. See? See how nice those things comes out? Look, just look at that. Look. Now, boy, as one says, you, I could eat what's air on the tray. It's hot though. But I'm not. <laughs> now, a bit of whipping cream on top of that now. Whipping cream. There you go. There you go. Some whipping cream. So I'm going to whip this on her. Since it's called whipping cream. Aww. Just look at that. Look. Now. And let it fall where it may. Right, Jack Trevor? Yep. I'm Mrs. John Ritter. You? Mmm. See that? I just put my knuckle down in that one. So I guess that is mine. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that, it's just oozing everywhere. Yeah. Look at it. Mmm. Oh, sugar gum drop. Look at the table. So here you have it. Two key lime pies ready for... Consumption. Consumption. <laughs> it's so delicious. Look at this. Key lime pie. Yeah. Mini key lime pie. Okay, dig in. It's so cold. A little bit hard. Oh. Oh yes. Mm. Oh. You know, this just gets better with age, just like you. Just like you, honey. Mmm. <laughs> it's so tart. I just love it. My son, let me try. Let me try this bad boy. See? I almost lost it right on the floor. Look. Mmm. Oh, wow. 
Is this good or mm -hmm. what? Mmm. -hmm. Mm, I can't stop. It's so creamy and sweet. It's very tart too, hey? Mm. You find it tart? Yeah. Very delicious, boys. Mm-hmm. A little bit hard when it's in the freezer, but... But that's all good. It's all good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you guys were here just to smell this. <whistles> Smells so good. Cocoa and flour. Just the cocoa alone. Man, oh man. You will soon see I'm on to one and done, Marley. Yeah. But you have to check out Frog One and Done. So, we are going to show you guys out to DC. Pomegranate. First of all, you take a bowl like this. Then you get some cold water and fill it up half full. You know what I'm saying? And what is filled up, you can take your knife, your paring knife or whatever you have, take it, cut all the way around like this. You haven't got to go deep or anything. Just cut around here like this till you meet the mark where you first started off. Like that. Then you take your pomegranate, put it down in the water, because you don't want juice flicking everywhere when you're doing pomegranate. Then you just take it like that. See that? See how easy that was? Look. See? Now you have your pomegranate down there in the bowl. You can take your other half of pomegranate, put it up on your clean counter while you're deseeding. The other pomegranate. You see it the way. You, see how simple and easy it is. Look. You just take it away like that. Look. You haven't got juice up the walls. You're doing it so clean. Look. See that? Look how clean that comes out. Look. Just comes right off. The membrane of the pomegranate. See, look. Like, how much simpler can you get? Like, you know what I'm saying? You can take the stuff, the membrane, and just lodge it to one side in your sink. And look, look, folks. Just look at that. Look. My wife made some awesome bark there the other day with pomegranate. If you guys haven't checked out her recipe online, you guys have to go over there right now and check out this fabulous, most delicious recipe. It is under Rise Wine and Dine on YouTube. So you guys hop right over there after you're finished watching this deseeding of the pomegranate. And I'm sure you, there's a recipe there for everyone. See the membrane floats to the top. And the pomegranate sinks. See that? Makes it very clean and easy. And after you guys get everything deseeded, you just take a strainer or a colander and you just run them through, wash them, store them in a hair tight container. After you put them in the container, just stick them in the fridge. And you can put them in the fridge for two to three days, in my opinion, that is. You can't get much simpler than what I just showed you guys. We are going to deseed the other half of the pomegranate, and we will touch base after we have this done. So here you have the pomegranate all deseeded. So easy, so simple. No juice up the walls, no mess. So after you get it all deseeded, it's underwater here. Then you can take it and just put it in a little small strainer. No mess, just look at that. Look how clean that looks. And here you have a deseeded pomegranate. So simple, so easy, so clean already to eat.
and I hope you guys enjoy the how to video on how to DC a pomegranate with no mess. So I guess now we have to end our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as we enjoyed entertaining you guys. Yep, yeah, that was a short vlog, but we had short fun. and sweet. Yeah. We have an interesting, interesting recipe coming to you guys this week. Well, we have always, you know, four or five good recipes coming to you guys on Rise, Wine and Dine. So you need to check those out. We showed you our mini key lime pies today. We made last week from Rise, Wine and Dine. We kept them frozen. They are absolutely amazing. If you guys ever check them out, you need to check them out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't forget to smack that thumbs up button. And don't, and don't forget, forget to, to subscribe. Right? Yep. So we're heading now to watch a Christmas movie. Don't even judge us. Don't even go there. Don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. We'll catch him with you guys real soon. Until next time. Peace. Peace. We're out of here. Stay sexy and stay beautiful. Night, night, beautiful people. Sleep tight, everyone. End it. You hit the button. No, you hit it. No. You hit it. You. I'm too, you got me sweating, you're like a furnace. No, Hit the button! No! No. Okay. Peace. Peace.